But yeah, see, the issue we have is that last time he was here, he was back there filming live okay. on our vehicles. And okay. And the vehicles and stuff, he can record. I don't believe that the Sheriff's Department has any signs that say he can't go back there. But for our sense? own secure security purposes? Uh, no, he can film. He can mm -hmm. film that stuff. Right, but yeah. I don't feel safe with him. One other thing, I heard that the court was closed yesterday and today. It said for security reasons. That on is your um, security escort. I'm I feel like I'm okay I, I know that you guys are pretty ridiculous but I don't feel like you're gonna hurt me so I don't feel like I do need security from you I do appreciate are you trying to threaten me or no I'm just gonna tell you that we're not gonna we've been told that we can't talk to you unless you have your police security to to protect me from you well I'm not really are you trying to threaten me that you're gonna hurt me not at all and so I need police to protect me no you need police to take care of you I mean not take care of you but Per the court order. What, is, what do you mean? A quick background of what's going on here. A few months ago, I did a few videos exposing just how stupid, ridiculous, and corrupt some of the judges and court staff at the 7th Judicial District Court were. Following the videos that I did on the court staff, people reached out through telephone calls, emails, and other means to let the court staff know that they were not pleased with their conduct. As a result of the court staff being exposed for their filthy behavior, court clerk Erica Smith resigned, as did hearing officer Gordon Bennett. After I used my First Amendment rights of free press to expose the corruption in the court, you guys exercised your First Amendment rights to reach out and seek redress for grievances. Each of you did it in your own way, some of you being polite and others cussing out the court staff, which is absolutely your right to do. Court Executive Officer Jason Jones and Presiding Judge Mercedes Murphy made a court order saying that I can't come to the courthouse anymore and expose any more corruption. They say that I can come to the court for official business, but that if I do, I have to go and collect myself a police officer and ask them to escort me through the courthouse while I conduct my business. And for the first little bit, I complied with this order, getting a police officer to escort me, because one of the things that they were trying to prevent me from doing was recording my business with them. But in New Mexico, it's state law that any time a police officer is interacting with a member of the public, they have to have their body cam on. Therefore, by getting a police escort, I was bringing my own camera with me, having them record my business, and then requesting the body cam footage. So essentially, they tried to mandate that I couldn't record and then ordered me to bring someone with me that's required to record by state law. However, it was becoming pretty ridiculous and burdensome for the already understaffed sheriff's department to send a deputy out for this absolute nonsense. So there's usually not a police escort available to go with me when I do business now. And every time I go without one, Susan calls the cops on me. But Susan has cried wolf way too many times now, and now the sheriff's department won't even respond to her calls at all. So she started calling the local PD who, for now, is showing up when she calls. But I imagine that they'll get tired of it too and eventually quit coming. And then, God forbid, Susan have an actual emergency, nobody will respond because she already cried wolf way too many times. Hey, so I sent an IPRA request. I was here on Thursday last week, I think, right? And I, and I saw that you responded. Again, where's your police escort? And I saw that you responded to that IPRA request, but I sent another one on Friday, and I haven't gotten a three-day response from you yet. Can? Um, he's responding. He's responding? Yes. But he hasn't responded yet? No. Who's no. he? Jason. Okay, so we're at, what, six days now? And he hasn't? given me a three-day response as required by law. Is there a reason for that? I don't know. Okay. But the request... You have his phone number? What's that? You have his phone number. He doesn't answer his phone, but I'll take it. <laughs> no, you already have it. I don't know if I... I mean, I, honestly, I don't know. Is it? It's probably on documents somewhere that I've been given or something, right? Mm -hmm. Is that his direct cell phone number? Or? No. Okay, so um, you guys are no longer filling IPRAs. You're having somebody else do it? or? Um, he is our main custodian of records. Okay. Are you also a custodian of records? I am, if I can, if it's something that I can do from here. But the day before okay. this, I had gotten a whole bunch of phone calls and text messages from local residents sending me pictures of this sign on the courthouse door saying that they were closed due to security issues with an email address at the bottom that was no good. 
So the building was completely locked up by the court staff, but this building isn't just for the court. The DA's office and the sheriff's department is also in the same building. When we reached out to the sheriff and the DA, they told us they didn't have any clue about any security issue in the building. Why would the court staff believe that there was a genuine security threat and not tell anyone else in the building about it? Residents of the area have been posting all over social media wanting an answer, but the court won't give it. I just gotta ask the question, what is going on with the District 7 court system uh, building in Estancia, Torrance County, New Mexico? Their sign yesterday said they were closed for a security threat. The building was not evacuated. Called to the sheriff's office, the lady I talked to didn't know what was going on. Uh, called the county manager's office, they didn't even know what was going on. Called Socorro's main office, they refused to talk about it. Um, the notice on the door said people could transact business and they could email, but it was a bad email address. There was no real proper email address. Um, earlier, their phone wasn't even working. What on earth is going on in the District 7 court systems? If there was such a security threat, why wasn't people evacuated? Why wasn't there a public notice? Who was in danger? What was that danger? The District 7 court system owes everybody that lives out here an explanation. And if it's because James Freeman is pressing you guys and you don't like that, that is not a valid reason to shut that court down. I'm sorry, there are business that affects people's lives every day that you people need to be taking care of. And to close the system down because you don't like somebody, you don't like somebody questioning you or challenging you, you guys are way too insulated and you're not serving your purpose. And I really and truly hope that somebody from a higher authority is gonna start investigating what's going on out here because none of you people are servicing your constituents that voted you in. You are not honoring your responsibilities to parties that are required to deal with the court system out here. And you're dragging the entire New Mexico court system into the toilet. At one point in time, New Mexico courts were held up as the standard for other states. And I, for one, am mortified and disgusted by what's going on out here because you have taken that high standard and put it right down on the ground. So again, District 7 court system located in Torrance County, New Mexico, the town of Estancia. Somebody in that bunch of people needs to put out a very clear, open statement on what is going on down there because what this is is ridiculous and people have a right to know. One other thing, I heard that the court was closed yesterday and today it said for security reasons. That on is your um, security escort. I'm, I feel like I'm okay. I, I know that you guys are pretty ridiculous, but I don't feel like you're going to hurt me. So I don't feel like I do need security from you. I do appreciate, are you trying to threaten me or? No, I'm just going to tell you that we're not going to, we've been told that we can't talk to you unless you have your police security. To, to protect me from you? Well, I'm not really, are you trying to threaten me that you're going to hurt me? Not at all. And so I need police to protect me? No, you need police to take care of you. I mean, not take care of you, but per the court order. What, is, what do you mean? Okay. Uh, can you let me know why the court was closed for a day Susan and a half? felt that me asking a question that the entire county wants answered was reason to call the police on me. Do it. Get these filed. Okay. How's it going? You finally came with a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was here. Okay. I talked to him as long as he had official business. Sure. When he didn't have official business, I walked away. Okay. Um, he started badgering me about why we were closed. Sure, um, sure. He's in the building somewhere. Okay. I want him out. Okay. Because we're going to close at four. Okay. And I don't want him locked in the bathroom somewhere. Okay. Okay. We'll see. We'll see if we can find him. You no idea which where he went or what way he, he went. He kind of went towards the DA's office. Okay. Yeah, we'll check around see if we can find him. <laughs> he needs to be out before four when we Okay. Lock the and he knows that the, the building closes at four. So okay, we'll try to find him. He knows that we locked this door, but he knows he can hang out at the sheriff's department. Yeah. Yeah. Which he can, but um, but no, we'll we'll try to find him. See if we can. 
see if we can love Hayden. Hi, Susie. Oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't introduce you guys. I'm sorry, what is your name? Luciano Alderete. Alderete. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. All right, we'll see what we can do. Thank you. Good. Yeah, Mr. Oh, Mr. Freeman, how are you, sir? How's your day going? Uh, not bad. Finally got the last thing I needed. Did you, you dropped it off? Well, no, I just um, I That's put in that Ipra. Hey, right, Luciano right. Derete. What is it? Luciano Derete. Luciano Derete. Yeah. All right. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I didn't actually get anything, but I, we got exactly okay. what we expected. They okay. uh, illegally failed to respond to the IPRA request. Okay, six in the time now. frame? Okay, yeah. Yeah. okay. Sounds right. good. All right, if you need anything from us, let us know, okay. but have a good one, and thanks for calling in earlier. <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see you around, man. Okay. We'll hey, see you. Good to see you guys. Have a good day. All right. So he is outside the building right now, but we'll hang out. We'll hang out for a minute just to, just to make sure. I you guys think that we're... Superly paranoid. You know what? It is what it is, but he's outside the building right now. We'll hang around because we, we know it's not quite closing time, but we've got time to hang around till you guys do close, and we'll just make sure he, he's um, we can go close right now. He's out, outside of the building. So, But we'll hang around for a little bit. Yeah, see, the issue we have is that last time he was here, he was back there filming live. Yeah, see, the issue we have is that last time he was here, he was back there filming live okay. on our vehicles. And okay. And the vehicles and stuff he can record. I don't believe that the sheriff's department has any signs that say he can't go back there. And but for our sense? own secure security purposes? Uh, no, he can film. He can film that stuff. Right, but yeah. I don't feel safe with him. Okay, and we can be around, you know, while mm -hmm. he's if he's back there, if he if he is, that's fine. Like I said, we'll hang around. So um, we'll we can even park back there for a minute and just kind of make sure everyone's okay while you guys leave for the day, if that makes sense. So is it, uh, all mean, the employees park back there? I don't know if, if you have her, heard any of the phone calls that we're getting. A little bit. I'm going to show you. Has it been from today or? Yeah. Um, just from first. I'm going to okay. Sure. Yeah, if you don't mind. Sure. Yeah, if you don't mind, that's, that's helpful. Sure. Okay. Sure. Welcome. Welcome. Susie. And Miss Sure. You have. Welcome. 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 Friday, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, no, we'll hang around. Um, but so no, we'll hang around in back. So are all, back all the employees parked back there? Okay, we'll hang around back back there. We'll hang around back back there while you guys kind of lock up and do your thing, just to make sure it doesn't get too bad. We will do that for you. We will do that for you. All right, not a problem. All right, not a problem.